Hello everybody. Welcome back to Come Paint With Me. We're here tonight going to do a very simple um, painting. I think it's a 16 by 20 canvas and I have went ahead and leveled it. I have my little um, leveling feet on the bottom here. The furniture levelers. Furniture legs, you know, and they untwist to make a model. So, Amazon. Uh, and what I'm doing tonight is I am going to put on the base coat as the black uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. Uh, the, the flow, this black flow acrylic seems to be good. Um, I have pre-mixed it. This is like a Pedialyte bottle I saved from a grandchild. And um, works out really well because I mix it with Floetrol and water. <clears throat> my my mixtures are two to one, so it's um, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and then I add the water until it's the right thickness, which I will show you as I'm. You you should be able to see that when I put it down. And I am going to do a pearl painting tonight. And I am using Pearl Violet by Amsterdam. And I am using Pearl Blue by Amsterdam. And Pearl Yellow by Amsterdam. I have uh, also green, white, and red. But I decided to go with these colors. I think I just want to keep okay, it pretty simple. Um, my, let me get some gloves on here. Oh, and I am using some uh, Mars Black by Artist Loft in between the pearl colors. Make them pop a little bit. Um, hopefully this will turn out. I tried it once before, but I think I had too many pearl colors and it just didn't work out for me. So I scraped it. And the scrapings are in this cup which I will use, but I did not want to use on this because of those pearl colors being inside the black, it's going to change the density of the black, the richness. So I didn't want to do that. So let me get my gloves. I wanted to wave and say hi to Jill. She did my nails. So I'm putting on my gloves now to save those nails. <laughs> I don't do well with nails. Uh, I'm always breaking them or getting paint on them. Paint. Right now it's dirt underneath the nails from gardening even though I wear gloves. I need to put on a pair of these gloves underneath my garden gloves um, because it just comes through the material. So okay I'm going to speed you up so you can see me put down the uh, the base paint here we go I'm popping the bubbles. And usually there's not a reason to do it on the sides. All right. Let's see if we can put some color on this thing now. Now, I have been trying to do, you know, a wispy and then a wispy, but it's not working out for me. I'm not exactly sure why, so I'm going to do something... Oh, look at that glove. It worked out well, didn't it? Stupid thing. Uh, maybe my nails put a hole in it. Okay. So, um, maybe we can try a different effect. I did a, um, um, fluorescent painting. 
Oh, it's sitting right here. Let me show you. Right, make sure I don't have any paint on me when I grab it because I'm... <sighs> and it's got resin on it now. They have two coats of resin. But um, the colors didn't really pop too much. I was really planning on it popping. But you see how the pattern is it's around the edge with a little bit at the end so I thought maybe I'd try something like that it seems to work out well so let me start with my violet pearl violet by Amsterdam And I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go. Whoops. I do the end at the end. The little spot at the other end of the canvas. So here is the black that we're putting. Oh, what? I think I might have had a booger in there too. Or something. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is. Well, I'm batting a thousand with this painting. There's something there that I'm not supposed to. I'm going to scrape this off. Because I don't know what that is. That was bad. So, I'm going to put the violet back down there. I'm going to do very little, very little black. Then I'm going to do the pearl yellow. not working out for me and then here we go with the pearl yellow wait did I say that this is the blue the yellow was the one in the right before this okay well I'm gonna these back in the same order so I can remember that. I think the only thing we can do now is try the hair dryer. Let's see if we can get any of these bubbles out of here. Alrighty. Let's give it a try. I'm going to start at the top here. decided to go on low a lot of times I don't get the movement I want on low but I think this is perfect yep and it does need its little uh, 
pile up here. So I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a puddle. And I'm going to not use the black so that I can see the difference. Okay. Now let's see what we can do. I love this. This is perfect. And I'm getting some really good cells. I don't want to do too much because it's got just the right balance of blue and violet and this looks like a stingray flying <laughs> if this, this dries right this is going to be gorgeous I can see the blue. I, I see the blue here and the purple. It's more subtle. So if I'm trying to figure out how the black works in, at this point I would say it makes the colors pop a little more than having them mixed together. Because I can see that the purple and the blue and the yellow here are kind of all mixed together. Whereas when I look at this, I can see the purple, and I can see the blue, and I can see the yellow. So, it, it does help to have that um, black in, in between. Or if you do a, like a dark navy background, then you would, you know, you could use that. Uh, this is, this is crazy. This is beautiful. Um, this is going to be something everybody wants. I can see that. And I guess I can just get it off of there. It's just a string of purple. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take my bamboo stick, my bamboo skewer, and pull the paint off of the sides to keep it from pulling the paint on down and off of the canvas because we do want it to stop I mean as I was oh I'm gonna sneeze as I was doing this I I do want it to flow over the sides but in order to keep the painting on the canvas, uh, you want to get all these drips off here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but look at that. Oh, that that's really, really awesome. I think I would like to do another one of these with uh, one of my darker blues I like my Payne's Gray by Creative Inspirations as a as a background so that might make the blue pop a little bit more but this is beautiful so after I do my edges then I come back in about 10 minutes and I check it again excuse me I'm gonna start with the hiccups in a minute and I'm going to scrape it again so I can make sure it doesn't move anywhere. Uh, then 
I'll come back maybe a third time, but I can tell if I need to scrape it or not by if it's dripping. If it's done dripping, then I'm then it means I'm really good at leveling and um, everything is being pretty stationary, which is what we want. So let me bring okay, it down. Here we are. Look at this. I'll start over here. It just has such nice symmetry with its colors. Look at that. And then over here, you see where I mean? You can see the yellow, and you can see the purple, and you can see the blue, but it's mixed together. Whereas over here, you can see them distinctively different. So, I like it. I see it's not really helping do anything in particular. Sorry about the glare. That's what you deal with with black. So, please hit the like button. Let me know if you like the painting. And send a comment to me. Let me know if there's something else I can do different. I can try this again. Put some different colors in. I got the green and the white and the red pearl. I can mix them up. Um, I can't wait for Christmas. Uh, I'm going to do the green and red pearl on something. That's for sure. But this is what I got now. So I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel and hit the bell, which will send you an email when I have posted a new video. And then you won't be bothered in between by anything that I do. Just if I post a video that's completed, then you'll be able to know, oh, she did another one, and then go in and take a look at it. I'm hoping everybody likes them well enough that they'll do that, but don't forget to give me that thumbs up. It lets me know that people really like what I'm doing so I can continue this. It helps my channel grow, which is very small, but that's okay because I'm, I'm not really doing pushing hard on that. I just want everybody to let me know what else I can do. I don't want to stop, but I'm getting a little bored. If I need some fancy colors or something different, please let me know and come back and paint with me. Bye!